No. <laughs> he just ripped that out of there. Monroe. No. Leave it. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the new channel. This channel is essentially going to be all about gardening and home projects. I just wanted to have a channel where I could do things that I do in my life, capture it on camera and share it with my friends and family and hopefully new community here on YouTube. If you want to follow along, maybe you just wanna see fence go up or gardening project, building projects, live edge slab tables or whatever you wanna see, I'm probably doing some of those things because I just have that kind of personality where I do projects a lot and I really enjoy it and I like to deep dive, study a lot and then do things as best as possible and then learn from mistakes. If you're interested in that, subscribe to the channel and always, always remember you can comment and I would love to interact with you. If you've got good ideas or you like something that I did, let's just talk about it down in the comments. I put these raised beds in and filled them with a bunch of compost from the water treatment plant where you can get free compost around here. I pretty much got an itch like a week ago to do some gardening and so here I am trying to do some gardening. And so I put these beds in, there's two cedar beds and then this other random bed that I can't remember. It's been there a couple of years now. I have no idea what I built it out of. It's Honestly, not that great, but it's fine. It holds dirt and it grows things. So that's what we care about. The other thing is I also just put solar on the house. We're about to put a fence up in the yard. So there's like a ton of these home project things that are happening. And if you have questions about those or you wanna see a video about those things, I'll probably talk about them, but just let me know down in the comments if you're like, hey, what about this? I have questions about that. How did this go for you? Shoot them down in the comments and we'll talk about it there. Sun is getting rather bright <clears throat> and so I got some plants that I need to do some seeding and some planting so we can get going. It's August right now, mid-August in Missouri, and today's like a high of 88 or something like that, which is, it feels nice still, it's in the morning. We just need to kind of get going. One of the nice things that I just got, since I'm starting this garden in August rather than in the spring like I probably should have, I don't want to just waste the fall because we do have plenty of productive months that are capable to get some good fruit and produce out of this bin. And so I got these grow bags. And I don't know if you've seen grow bags before, but I had never even heard of grow bags. But essentially, they're just these like felt breathable bags and you you plant in them. And this is, a, I think I got seven gallons, but you, they have handles and so you can move them inside, outside. You can keep them, um, you can overwinter plants that you really love. You can, you can start transplants in here and let them really get a nice, super big, deep, root system and then move them into your raised bed or in-ground gardens. I got about five of these and I think today the only things I'm gonna put in to these are uh, a couple pepper plants, some herbs, and a raspberry. My raspberries, uh, they all died because of a ton of rain in May and then no rain for like 30 days. So it was like super moldy, swampy, couldn't get enough drainage and they were struggling and then it just like, fried them with like 20 some odd days over 100 degrees no matter how much i tried they just they took too much stress and they all just kind of died out i salvaged a couple of the canes and i think they're still alive but we'll have to see about that once um the weather chills out a little bit which is just now starting to i got a few bags of the miracle grow indoor potting mix and i did indoor for this because I wanted to be able to move these grow bags inside without all the smell sometimes that's associated with um, with plants inside. And so if you use compost and some of those kinds of things, it can get pretty, pretty stinky. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. I don't love having all this plastic um, when I have to buy stuff, which is really kind of frustrating because I'm like, we're doing all these organic things and then like, selling them in these plastic bags that aren't even like, they're not very re reusable or anything. So it's just kind of frustrating, to me at least, that it's something that seems pretty eco-friendly, but then you have all this plastic trash um, that the dog will probably steal and play with. But no, leave, leave it. Good boy. So, I don't know. That's just one of those things I guess you kind of you have to decide what's worth it, what's not worth it. So one bag didn't really quite fill up um, a seven gallon grow bag. It maybe filled it up to about here. 
So one of the other super nice things about grow bags is, I'll show you on a grow bag that's empty, but if you don't have enough soil, which I don't on some of these, you can actually roll the bags, which is nice, because <clears throat> you can essentially make them a shorter bag if you're not trying to do something super, super deep. And you can roll them down so that the edges aren't blocking out some of the sun that they get and some of the aeration that they get as well. And you can essentially make shorter planters really, really easily, which is exactly what I'm gonna do with this raspberry because I'm not trying to grow this raspberry in this grow bag for a long time. I just want it to get really well established, make it through the winter, and then get it down in the spring um, into an actual location in the yard. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll this grow bag. And there's not a ton of root wrap on this. There's lots of bark. Again, because the raspberries really like drainage. So they like to stay moist, but they also, they, they get root rot pretty bad and quickly. So one of the things about this is you have to water them in like crazy when you first get them. Um, but once they have roots, then you can kind of water them on a weekly basis and it's not quite as needy. So I'm probably gonna put some mulch in on the top of that to keep from um, weeds and pests and stuff like that. So it's actually okay that there's a little bit of room here and I planted the, the raspberry a bit higher. We'll do about an inch or two of mulch there. And I always recommend saving the tag just in case, just slide it in the inside of there. And there we go, one raspberry. So I may have cheated a little bit with these peppers because they're already flowering, which is really nice. And they actually already have a little tiny pepper. No! <laughs> he just ripped that out of there. Monroe! No! Leave it! Don't do that. Jeez, dude. So we're gonna have to fix that. And try to fix that. Little punk. <laughs> So what I'm putting in the garden is some of these potatoes. I think these are yellow potatoes, but they have already started to sprout like crazy. And also some garlic, which I've heard overwinters well and comes up in the spring and that's when you want to harvest it. So I'm going to put the potatoes and the garlic into one bed. And then I've also got these sweet bell peppers, the red variety, that'll stay in the grow bag. I'll probably keep them out in the garden for a couple days or weeks or months, whatever and move them inside and see if we can overwinter this plant. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but we're gonna try it because I would love to have some nice established peppers in the spring. And so we're gonna go ahead and finish this off. And I cheated a little bit because these came from Home Depot and they already have tiny little veg vegetable fruit on them and flowers for more. So we're also gonna need to put some pollinators near them so hopefully they can make sure that they get those flowers into, into fruit. So we're gonna grow some of these and hopefully attract some pollinators. Cauliflower, which I heard is a good fall crop. And spinach, which should actually be able to yield, it says here in 25 days to harvest. So that's pretty dang good. And uh, I love spinach, it's good in salads. I like putting it on a burger or some other different things like that. Um, and then also kale. I'm not necessarily the biggest kale fan, but I've heard that kale gets sweeter as it moves into the winter. And supposedly kale has uh, a really, really good leaf for frost resistance. So you're able to um, have it grow into the cold months, even down to super freezing frosty months. And uh, supposedly when it gets cold, it's really, really sweet. So I really wanna try that. And I wanna see what the flavor's like once I'm able to harvest it when it's nice and cold out in the mornings, which I'm, call me a weirdo, but my favorite thing about growing up in Colorado or even living in Missouri now is when the weather chills out, holy crap, chills out, because I can drink hot coffee in the morning. We're not in the morning, because it's just colder all day and it feels so, so good and I love it. The last couple things I'm gonna do in the garden today is we have some sweet basil, which I use for cooking all kinds of things and some lemon thyme, which I've never ever heard of or seen before. And then recently I was binge watching YouTube videos and someone recommended them. And, <laughs> whoa. 
someone recommended the lemon thyme, and so I wanted to try it out. I've heard it's good with potatoes, things like that, carby things. So we're gonna try some of that, see how it goes. This is gonna be the beginning of an herb garden, but I also have a ton of herbs we're gonna do inside. I just gotta build the planters for it and this whole system. That'll be in another video. <laughs> Apparently, um, I sniff something that is now invading my nose and my sinuses, so. One of my favorite things about garden herbs is that if a leaf falls off, you can... Mmm. That is so delicious. Like, honestly, one of t the best things that Taylor ever showed me. With sweet basil, put it in some lemonade in the summer. Pfft, basil lemonade, unmatched. So freaking good. So one of the nice things about potatoes is that you can bury them super deep and they'll still come up um, quite nicely. So while this bed doesn't have all the dirt that it needs to have in it yet, I'm gonna go ahead and get the potatoes started and then I'll be able to add a bunch of dirt on top of this and the potatoes won't be buried too deep in that, which will be really nice. I will likely push up some of this up on the edge for garlic on the far side. Um, but yeah, this should go pretty easily with potatoes getting started at least, um, give them a chance to, to get going. So here we go. supposed to rain today so I'm not gonna over water any of this stuff even though uh, you normally would want to really water but I think it's supposed to rain for like most of the afternoon so we're just gonna go ahead and check the soil later tonight and see if it's any good uh, if it needs more water and yeah so for now I think this is good I'm gonna plant some flowers in here and then up oh, there's some raindrops so yep I'm gonna plant some flowers real quick and then go inside what I'm gonna put in this other bed here is our kale, our spinach, and our cauliflower. And I think they should do fine in this. This is all full sun area. So if anything's not full sun, uh, whoops. But I think it's fine. It does get some shade, partial, partial shade. And if it does sort of get shaded out a little bit, it's really cloudy here often. I'm more worried about full sun than I am worried about not full sun. So anyway, I'm gonna get this bed ready and then we're gonna put spinach, kale, and cauliflower in here. Here we go. Hey, so that's it for today's episode. This is a pretty short and sweet one. I just wanted to get the garden going because I decided to do some of this gardening in the middle of August. So I got the beds going, I got everything up and moving and quick. And um, yeah, so hopefully we'll have some vegetables soon and also in the spring with the garlic and some of that kind of stuff with the raspberries, all that. So this has been really fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this kind of content and there's more to come and hopefully um, this can just be a really fun place to share tips and ideas, e express yourself through gardening, through homesteading stuff, through little projects and DIY things. See you later.